So I heard Jessica singing karaoke the other night, and it was actually really good. She fell in love with me again and again. Yeah, it was good. Your voice is unreal. And your voice is... Philippines. You want to know my opinion on your voice? Like an angel crying? Um, like an angel celebrating? It's more like a frog in distress. <laughs> oh. I'm joking. It's a You're actually a good singer. You mean I will never make it on Australian Idol? <laughs> like everyone was so... Like, wow, he can sing. Oh, yeah, I can sing Elvis. Yeah, he's very talented. I can sing deep. I can sing deep. I can't really sing like high notes. <laughs> yeah. Can't really sing high notes. This guy said to me, I say, where are you from in America? I'm like, mate, I ain't from America, mate. I'm not from America. He's like, you're not from America? I was like, yeah, buddy. People come here, I'm from America. He said, well, where are you from if you're not from America? I said, from Australia, mate. He's like, Australia? Really? And I was like, why is that so shocking that I'm not from America? It's in the Philippines. Our logic is like, when you have white skin, you're from America. Oh, Americano, Americano, it's Americano. But like some Filipinos didn't know that there's other like races out there who are actually white as well and kind of look like Americans. You know, I said to one guy, he goes, where are you from? I said, Australia. I, he said, you from America? I said, no, I'm from Australia. And he said, oh, where in America is Australia? And I said, Australia is not in America. Australia is a different country, different continent. Like, it's a different part of the world. It's not America, mate. The Americans are fun, though. The Americans are fun. But like, hey, people from New York, what's with the attitude, mate? Drop the attitude. Like, people from California and stuff are nice, but people from New York, when you meet someone from New York, they have a bloody attitude. They're all like, oh, I'm from New York, I'm a bit of a dickhead. So, um, it's like, mate, hey, people from New York, drop the attitude, mate. You know what I mean? Like, jeez. I said to my friend, I said, do you know people from New York are dickheads? Like, because uh, um, they all seem like dickheads, so I, I'm... Oh, you're going to get some hate on that comment, lovey. Well, if you're from the tri-state area and not a dickhead, put a comment. But we won't get many comments because you're dickheads, right? No, no, no. no, I'm just being honest, love. I, all these American guys from New York, they've all been like... And then they introduce themselves and they go, I'm from New York. Well, what, 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 so what, that gives you a dickhead they pass? They have the Eiffel Tower, the tower there. They have the Eiffel Tower in no, New York? Tower, Did you say they have the Eiffel Tower no, in New York? the tower with the lady standing on it. In the, the Statue of Liberty? Yes. Yeah, they don't have the Eiffel Tower in New York as far I as I know. I thought there was a tower there. And geography wasn't a major at school, but yeah, I don't think the Eiffel Tower's in New York. The yeah. yeah, Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Hey, road safety. Oh, this is a different part, so I scolded Jessica the other day because she... And, and, and by scolding, I, I don't mean I poured boiling hot water over her. I verbally scolded her. Proverbially scolded her, right? So, because she wanted to put like 3,000 kids in the car without seat belts and some in the front. And Maybe you shouldn't put that on YouTube. Yeah, well, I'm going. It's not... I'm going. It's like criminal, Ian. Yeah, you're a criminal, Jessica. You're a criminal, Jessica, so it's, it's appropriate. And you're kind of racist as well. You don't like to have dark skin, true? No, it's just a preference. People have preference. Look, if you're, if you're, so what? Are you, so what do you call you who doesn't want their white skin? Well, I just when you have white skin in my country, people tease you. They're like, "Oh, are you sick? Do you have the flu?" Okay. Like when you have white skin, then when you have a tan, everyone's like, "Oh, you got a tan? How cool!" Uh, no, you're in my country, right? Did, 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 a girl, girl stopped you and said, "Oh my God, I love your skin. I love your tan." They stopped you, right? And they complimented you on how brown you are, right? True or not? Yeah. So, but that doesn't happen. No one stops you in my country and goes, oh, you're so white, you look so healthy. That never happens, mate. But here, people compliment you when you're white. And it's really weird. Like, in, yeah, in Australia, yeah, like people, if you're brown, racist. yeah. Well, it's kind of racist. So, they, 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 they to be honest here, when you're, listen. movies saying when look, you're so, look, oh, she's look. so pale. To be honest, Filipinos are a little racist, love. Like, yeah, yeah, if you want, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Fly. Yeah, but Filipinos can be a bit racist. Like, when you have darker skin here, there is stigmatism to it, and you know, it is, it is a bit racist. Yeah, so Jessica still throws this up. I did a clickbait video, and I said, uh, "This girl's a four. Uh, I felt called this girl a four. And she says, "You know, I'm a four. You'll call me a four on YouTube, right?" 
But I said, no, you're a 10, Jessica. So we're talking about this guy who was commenting on my videos and he always says, oh, bro, stay single, stay single. And I'm like, the problem is with single, there's a lot of fours out there, dude. There's a lot of fours. Uh, and I said, I'm with a 10, right? And, and Jessica said, no, I'm a four. You said I was a four on YouTube, right, Jess? Jessica, don't tempo. Tempo is sub. Don't tempo, Jessica, don't tempo. So Jessica and my goddaughter, they're both like, they're competing in tempo. Tempo. So, sulking. They're in the bloody mountains, right? And there's a traffic jam. What the hell? Oh, you gotta turn. You gotta turn right. Left. How was there a traffic jam in the mountains, mate? We're in the mountains, mate. Two question, right? Can I ask you a question? We're in the mountains. Do you think this town has gluten-free and pronouns? No. Do you think this town has gluten-free and pronouns? There you go. No gluten-free and no pronouns. Right, when you came to my country, you were saying, what's gluten-free in? What's gluten-free? And I was trying to explain it, and you were like, mm. Gluten-free, calorie, zero calories. Seriously. So what did you think? Organic. What did you think living in Australia and Norway? So, how many years? You probably live, what, five years away from home? How many years have you lived away from home? When I was in, well, I travel on and off to Norway, but probably I lived there for like maybe all in all, two, two and a half years. So, Jessica lived there with her previous boyfriend for two and a half years, but they broke up because Jessica cheated, right? Um, Shut up. And um, my ex who cheated. Yeah, no, well, that's the story Jessica tells, but I think it was her. He's cheating on the boyfriend. Jessica? Cheated, he got, and he got, what do you call this? He I don't he know. Got, he got the sickness from the girl. Uh, he got a what? What do you call that? Well, what was it? Describe the symptoms of the sickness. Um, he swore or something. He said, he said it to me. What was it? I don't know. It's, um, it's a sexually transmitted disease. Syphilis? It's not, it's, it's STD. Yeah, the STD is just the, that's all of the... No, uh, no, there's uh, something. So your it's previous... the most common one. Syphilis. No, something else. Uh, AIDS? No, uh, the most basic one. It's like AIDS, but not AIDS, but like low, like... Hang on, so you're saying your boyfriend didn't have syphilis, he ex. didn't have AIDS? So your ex-boyfriend didn't have syphilis, didn't have AIDS? No, it's something else. And you still broke up with him? Got it after we broke up because he slept with this girl. And then what, what were the symptoms? Tell me the symptoms. I don't know, love. You know, it, it starts with S. Gonorrhea? No. It starts with so S. So when Jessica says it starts with S, you can pretty much guarantee it doesn't start with S, right? That's why I said gonorrhea. Syphilis is S. Types. So. Herpes. Yes. Does <laughs> herpes start with S? There I told you. I told you. When Jessica says yes. starts with S, ah, uh, you mean herpes? Yes. It's herpes. Yes. Uh, yeah. There's yeah. an S in there. Herpes. Yes. Yeah, but it doesn't start with S, does it? Oh. Okay, so we got herpes, and then what happened? He got it after we broke. So here we are, Lip City. Check out the mountains. Um, and we're picking up Jack. So Jack is Jessica's nephew, fifteen, same age as my son. And he wants to join the um, army, and I've been teaching him how to box and kickbox, um, and also been teaching him, um, been teaching him some powerlifting, like some clean and jerk, uh, and some bench press. And he's strong now. We've been doing it with me for a couple of years, right? And he's showing off to all his friends. Je Jess, how's Jack showing off to all his friends, right? And he can box, and none of his friends can. So. First, he brings his friends over, Jack, let's suggest, he brings friends over, he wows them how much he can lift, and then he boxes them, right? And, and so they're like, oh man, Jack's such a stud, right? So yeah, we'll stop talking about him now he's here, right? The boys are here. Brother, what was your name again? Alan. Uh, how do you say it? Alan. 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 Ellen. Alan. 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 Hey, Ellen. How do you spell it? How do you spell it? Alan. Alan. That's Alan, love. Alan. You say Alan. 
No, nah, we're in Australia. We say Alan, mate. What Alan. In Australia, your name's Alan, mate. Alan. How do you say it? Alan. 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 A. Alan, mate. Alan. Yeah, in Australia, you're Alan, mate. Alan you're Alan in Australia. You're Alan, right? A. So, um, Jack, how Alan? How was your um, How was your uh, How was your workout? How do you feel? Now, how do you feel, buddy? Do you feel sore? Sore? Doesn't feel sore. You weren't working out hard enough then. You weren't working out hard enough, son. All right, workout time. Bench press, right? You're looking very handsome, Jack. Are we? When are we doing this double date with your girlfriend? Tonight? Are we going to have a pizza with your girlfriend tonight or not? Can you message her? No. She said she's asleep. She's asleep. Well, she's 75? Are you dating a 75 year old? No, we don't. We shouldn't do it when there's. That's all right. We'll have a home by midnight before she sends on a pumpkin. Tell her we can pick her up. What's that? What's that? Not allowed out late at night. Not even if she's with you? Because you're, you're a degenerate, is that right? Because you're a degenerate and her parents don't trust her with you? Is that right, love? She's with me. Yeah, she's Jack's girl, mate. Jack, you should say to her dad, listen, she's out with me. Relax, mate. Have you seen my cleaning jerk? Have you seen my boxing? She couldn't be safer, mate. She couldn't be safer than when, she, when she's with me, right? Right, Jess? Right? She couldn't be safer when she's with Jack. Relax, love. Relax. Oh, relax, love. Relax, relax mate. Relax. Petrol's cheap here, Jess. In the mountains. I'm a cheap girl. I'm not cheap. I just, just get like to give me grace. She says, "Oh, you're a princess. Oh, you, you want air conditioning. You want air conditioning. You're a princess." I'm like, "Am I a princess, mate? Because I want bloody air conditioning." So she's like, "Oh, you want air conditioning? Oh, foreigner, foreigner princess, foreigner princess." That's what she says. So she bought this air conditioning, but I think secretly she wanted air conditioning because her room is like, her room is like three thousand degrees. So we got some videos where we did a trip around Australia. Like you should check them out. Uh, there's some pretty cool stuff. Saw some Crocs and yeah, it's pretty cool videos. I say, yeah. Probably should reshoot the area before we. Well, that's good. I'm glad we went. I'm glad to come up here. This is like yeah, not fun. tourist it's a, it's a, it's a good, experience, right? Yeah. <laughs> Bobble. Really yeah, the roads aren't the best, but hey, listen, the roads in Northern Territory are pretty bad as well, weren't they? Remember? Not the far north Queensland? The roads are shocking, mate. We blew a tire in Kakadu. We blew a tire in Kakadu, didn't we? And then our space saver, the, um, the wing nut that releases the space saver is welded on. Thanks, BMW. We met these two. Rangers, right? Well, I mean, the Rangers, they were army rangers. Or rangers. And they, um, Oops, nice guy. yeah, thanks, mate. They, um, that was your fault. they basically, um, what did they do? They basically changed our tire, and we couldn't get out. And yeah, it was good. They're good people. They warned us, they said, Listen, the Aboriginals around here like you to attack people. Life, yeah, so where's your knife? They said, The Aboriginals tend to attack people out here. And I was like, oh, Okay, what, what, what am I supposed to do? You know, like. So yeah, but um, I've met some really, 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 really good Aboriginals, right? Really lovely Aboriginals, and Actually, I've some, met some half Aboriginals there. You, you wouldn't know they're half. You know, the yeah, guy you would know. Yeah, he was Aboriginal, yeah. But but you meet some real good ones, right? But you meet some real bad ones as well, right? Some real like drinking. And you met that space, the alien guy said there. He's so yeah, I met this guy in Alice Springs, right? And uh, he's like, oh man, I've seen aliens. Because we've got this place, it's like the alien capital of Australia. It's in the desert, right? And I was just like, oh, did you, brother? Did you? He goes, ah. Oh. And I kind of quizzed him. And it actually turns out that it was, I think it was a truck. And he's just like, uh, exaggerating. Where are we going to go? Bridge Denver. Can we go for Bridge closed. Or I have to live here now. Alright, so we're in the mountains, they've closed this bridge. 
So there's a detour. Right, Jess? I follow these dudes. This is the detour. That is kind of a construction on the bridge. We're going down under the bridge. We're going down under the bridge. Logic would suggest we'd be going down under the bridge. Yeah, it's going to be steep, right, Jess? It's going to be steep. I'm just warning you. It's going to be steep, right? Oh, this is the footbridge. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this is the footbridge. So that bridge is the one that's closed. No blocks here. Oh, the clock's gonna fall. <laughs> and this is the uh, this is the bridge. Alright, let's go into last gear one, gear one. So you know what I love about the Philippines? Coming to places like this, like not tourist places, just uh, you know, just meeting people who aren't foreigners, uh, who aren't they like, like yeah, they're not in the foreigner trade. So he's here getting petrol. So they just leave it pumping, and it's super cheap and it accepts credit card. So it's like it's like seven pesos cheaper than everywhere else, or I mean ten pesos cheaper. It's crazy. This petrol was crazy cheap, right? And uh, we, we paid a credit card. So I don't carry a lot of cash with me. So I'm trying, I try not to spend cash. Are you still going to miss my car? Nah, I think they might dilute with ethanol a little bit, but it'll be right. The petrol standard's still pretty high. You'll be right. They might 10% ethanol. I reckon they put 10% ethanol. That's fine, love. It's fine. Jess, what did you do with my credit card? Stop me being scammed? Like a tape on the pin. So they so so there's a three digit, it's not pin number, but it's like an identification number. Yeah, I guess, and she puts guess, tape over it. Because if you hand your credit card to someone, they can just copy it and do an online shop online or whatever they want. Yeah, to so do. like when we so buy. If they don't have that very important pin, they can't. Unless they peel off and put it back on, but it takes yeah, longer, right? you're going to know if they pulled it. Yeah. Okay, okay so we're going down this crazy mountain now, right? Like, uh, it's really, just keep your foot on the brake. So I haven't, you haven't been down this place yet, Jess, right? Keep your foot on the brake, okay? That's the advice I'm gonna give you. Keep your foot on the brake, okay? So we're going down this insane mountain. Keep your foot on the brake, just, just stay slow. Just take it slow, mate, just take it slow. There's Jess, guys, she's buying brake pads. So here the mechanic wants her to buy her own brake pads. And he'll put them in. They're not. They don't buy the stuff up front. They just get you to buy it, and then basically your mechanic installs it. That's how it works. So brake pads. No. You need two brake pads, Jessica. Why did you buy one and not two? So these are the front ones, right? Yeah. Okay. It's like a, a fun fair. Like a fairground in Batangas. How cool is that? Fairground ride. This is Batangas. So Jack only speaks English when he's drunk, right? Jack? True? What did he say? What did he say? Never drinks, he never drinks. Okay, so this is our hood. This is where we work out. Oh, cut car. EJ, EJ's our boy, right? Is that EJ? Oh, can you bring some water? Yeah, I'm going to work out. What's that? I'm going to work out. Absolutely, mate. I'll work out there for I am. My cousin wants to join us. Yeah, he wants to join us, okay. Boy, what's that? 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 Boy,
What's he saying? This is Alan's warm up. Jack. Macho Jack. We call him Macho Jack, right? Jay. So, boy EJ, you're my student, right? You're training with us, right? Yeah. It's for YouTube. Do you have anything to say to YouTube? Yeah. What do you have to say? Yeah. What wisdom do you have to share? No, oh, thank you. Thank you. What are you drinking? Tubic. I'm drinking Tubic. It's water. What are you drinking? What's her name? Coca Cola. Huh? Coca -Cola. Her name's Coca Cola. Her name's Coca Cola. No. This name is. Uh, what? Queen. I said, what's her name? You said Coca Cola. Is your name Coca Cola? Your name's Coca Cola. This name is me. I think we should call her Coca Cola, don't you? <laughs> Coca Cola. <laughs> we should call her Coca Cola, right? His name is not Coca Cola. His name is real. Her name. Her name. Hello. How are you? Her name is Queen. Queen. Ah. Uh, okay. Is that your cousin? Is she your cousin? Yes. Is she Jessica's cousin? Yes. Everyone is cousins, right? Alan. Is Alan the man, mate? You don't choose when to fight, right? When you're training, if you have to fight, you have to fight. You never choose when to fight. When the fight chooses you, right? So there's no later. There's only now, right? You're in a box. My right cross is a sniper. Watch. Boom! Sniper. My right cross is a sniper. My dad is a machine gun. My right cross is a sniper. Let's go. Show me a sniper. Show me. Show me. Dad, show me a machine gun and sniper. Go. Good. Good. Sniper. Sniper.